Okay, Kevin, we're back here today in Lily. It's the 13th of June, and you're about to wrap up the last of your spraying on the wheat. I'd be very happy with the success of the fungicide program to date. We've a spotless flag leaf, spotless leaf two, spotless leaf three, maybe 7% septori on leaf four, and leaf five is maybe 10%. So in terms of performance, we're where we wanted to be. Um, the program, just to re recap, was Triorus Varian, followed by Triorus Opus Team. We didn't have quite the mildew pressure here, we did an avatar, but um, I said we went with the same program from a simplicity perspective. It has been a bad mildew year, there's been a lot more talius used more than normal. What we're going to finish with here today, you already have it in the sprayer, we're going to litre per hectare of Prezaro, we're going to litre per hectare of Credo to give you 40% straw and a litre of Bravo. That's basically a spray that's targeted at fusarium control, but it's obviously giving us continued persistence against septoria. The, the Bravo element, it's nearly standard now in every fungicide application on wheat, just to give you that protection on septoria. What we're also adding in, from the point of view of fusarium, we're accurately timed here in that we're just about at mid-flowering. We're add, adding in the wetter Siltex, which I know is the first time for you using it, but in, in the trials done to date, all it is is a wetter, but it's significantly improving how products work on fusarium control. We would have introduced it in 2013 after that horrendous 2014 where we had such fusarium pressure because of the prolonged wet spell. 2013 was the opposite, was a dry year. We've looked at the, the wetter from the point of view of high value crops such as seed crops, malting crops, milling crops. But last year we got surprisingly good results in spring barley where we got up 2.4 to 0.5 a ton per hectare in, in terms of additional yield. So we're trying it here this year to see how we go. Um, I said quite happy with lo lodging control as well, the crop is short. They're like bamboo canes there at the moment, they're extremely stiff and strong. We went with 0.8 of turple. On the day it would have seemed like a heavy dose because the crop was short but we've had a fair degree of bounce back growth once that rain came which was starting the last day when we were standing in the field. Um, from your own perspective, how happy are you with the crop? I know it's strip tilled. Can you give us a little rundown on its early history and nutrition? Yeah, so basically we're after beans here. Um, we started off relatively early here, early sown crop here. Peas and K's went in with the four metre of our side strip till okay. drill. So um, it's a nice site to be drier over here than say where, where we've been looking at the winter barley. So crop got off uh, good control in the winter with the autumn herbicide and our fungicide um, strategy has been working out very well. So I mean we're really in for the last pit stop, you know. Mm, mm. Um, it's like a, a race, you know, to keep on top of the septoria pressure but we've done very well this year crops are very very clean so I mean this is the final pit stop and we're topping up the crop today with the Prezaro and the Credo so as you know uh, Fusarium is a, is a big yield rubber mm -hmm. so I mean it would be shameful to cut a corner after getting the crop mm. so far you know down the road and yeah. it's doing so well yeah. so I mean yeah. um, let's finish it off and set yeah. it up to yield to its maximum potential